It's Classic Country 100.1 WGLC. Kevin here with you, and it's National Ag Week, and we have some folks from the Yorkville Christian chapter of the FFA, and with Millie. How are we doing, Millie? I'm good. How are you? Oh, doing dandy. Well, I'm going to ask you about what you are involved with with the FFA and maybe what you guys have going on this week and for the rest of the year. Well, I am the president of our FFA chapter, so I'm responsible for like organizing our meetings, and I keep all of the members involved. We are having our missions week at school, so we're actually outside working at our new school site for a community service project. And what are you guys doing at the uh, community service project today? Oh, today we are working on spreading gravel out for the school site so they can pour concrete for our new building. So you guys are going to be busy this week, but what's some more uh, upcoming events maybe got going on uh, with the Yorkville Christian chapter of the FFA? Anything uh, interesting coming up soon? Um, last week, we participated in a contest, which was food science contest for FFA. And coming up in June, we are going to travel to the state convention with a few of our members. So there we will learn more about the FFA and get more involved. And again, talking with Millie, the FFA president with Yorkville Christian. And one more thing I'd ask you, Millie, maybe what's something you want people to know about the FFA? Maybe they don't really know about so that you maybe want to get out there. I think that people should know it's not just for farm kids. It can be anyone involved that wants to learn more about farms or wants to learn more about leadership. And if you have ever thought about joining FFA and you want to, I definitely encourage you to do so. All righty. Thanks, Millie, for uh, chatting with us today. Thank you. It's Classic Country 100.1 WGLC. Kevin along with you, and it's National Ag Week. And got another member of the Yorkville Christian FFA on the phone. Got Jamie with us. Jamie, how are we doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How <laughs> Do, are you? Hey, hanging in there. Well, Jamie, just going to ask you maybe what your position is with the Yorkville Christian FFA. I am the Yorkville Christian Treasurer. The Yorkville Christian Treasurer. So we've got Jamie on the phone and a lot going on this week. And again, got to talk with some other members of the FFA. Uh, what's going to be happening for the rest of the week? You guys got a busy week ahead of you. Yeah, so our school is actually doing something called Missions Week where we go out and we help, whether it be at the food pantry or like um, our President Millia just said, um, building our school site, and we have things like that going on. It's just a lot of fun, and we have another school coming to us, and they'll be seeing what life is like on a farm. And again, talking with the treasurer of the Yorkville Christian FFA, got Jamie on the phone, and you guys, I heard you guys are doing stuff with gravel today, but uh, what's in store for the rest of the week? You got any uh, plans for tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday? We do. Um, so like I just stated, we are actually having another school come, uh, Chicago Julius, they're coming in and they'll be coming down to the farm and we'll be kind of doing a mentoring day for them. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, talking with uh, Millie as well about some of the upcoming events you have going on, even into the summer. I mean, what's something that, that you found that's been very beneficial to you by being a member of the Yorkville Christian FFA? Um, it actually opened up my eyes a lot to like what the farming community is and what goes on in agriculture in general. Cause I'm originally from the South side of the city. So it was not something that, I had known anything about and it just really opened my eyes and showed me that there was a lot more out there. And again, again, talking with Jamie with the Yorkville Christian FFA. It's National Ag Week. So I'm going to assume that this is one of the, the busier weeks of the year. It is one of the busy, like busier weeks of the year for our school, especially since we're currently helping build our new school site. And what would you say to maybe some classmates or incoming students that want to get involved with the FFA, you know, how they can get involved and maybe what they can expect when they become a part of the Yorkville Christian FFA? I mean, I would say just come to one of the meetings and jump in with both feet in the deep end because it's really worth it. And none of us are scary or judgmental towards new members. It's just a ton of fun and you can expect a lot of like really good-hearted people and we have a great advisor and we're always getting involved in something whether it's like national convention state convention cdes it's just it's definitely worth it so take the risk and again appreciate uh, a talk with us today jamie and again have a great rest to your national ag week Thank you. It's Classic Country 100.1 WGLC. Kevin here with you. National Ag Week, and we got Molly Bream with the Yorkville Christian FFA. And Molly, uh, hello to you. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hanging in there. Well, Molly, just want to ask you, uh, what's your position right now with the Yorkville Christian FFA? 
So I am actually a first year member in York Hill Christian FFA. And a first year member, so you're kind of just getting your getting your feet wet, and it is National Ag Week. So what has the experience been so far with you? Um, FFA has been very, very fun. Um, I have had a lot of experience that I wouldn't have um, had it not been in it. Um, I come from a farm family myself. You know, I am a farm kid. And um, just to be surrounded with people that are interested in kind of the lifestyle you have, but to also learn more about um, different perspectives and different things people do. It's just a lot of fun being in a group where everything about it is everything you're interested in. And again, talk with Molly Bream of the Yorkville Christian FFA. You guys have a big, big week in store. Uh, but what's been something that maybe has surprised you uh, b- becoming a member of the Yorkville Christian FFA? Honestly, just about... Um, all the things we do. Uh, we went to Indianapolis for National Convention of FFA, and it was so much fun being able to be with your peers in a different city and being able to explore things. I mean, like I said, I am a firm kid myself. with big name brands that I, you know, looked up to, I got to go to their booths. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. And then um, also the CDEs, we, we have one pretty much almost once a month. Um, and it's just, a, it's a fun night to be around people, and it's also fun to study for and there's some topics for the CDs that um, are very, very interesting. So you get to learn about new um, new things. And again, talk with uh, a new member, Molly Bream of the Yorkville Christian FFA. You know, what's the goal now? You've gotten yourself involved with the Yorkville Christian FFA. I mean, do you look to be in, uh, in a head position or what's the goal maybe in a few years? Um, I am thinking about being a head position, maybe going out for something next year. Um, I am the type of person that likes to be involved in this as a leadership organization. So, um, yeah, I would, I would like to become more involved as maybe an officer. All righty. Well, again, Molly Breen with the Yorkville Christian Appropriator. Appreciate you uh, taking some time on your day today. Yes, thank you.